Welcome to Let's Equate. We'll start off today's show by reading some fan questions and uh, comments. This question comes from Billy. Billy's asking if monsters are good at math. Well, Billy, I don't know, but I'm afraid not. Unless you count Dracula. <laughs> ah, you see what I did there, right? But in honesty, I have no idea if monsters are good at math. If I had to guess, I would say yes, because they would have downloaded the latest version of Equate. But let's get back to the show. We have our guest nerd, Jacqueline Aventure, back with us today to talk about all things square. Today, we'll learn how to take a perimeter of a square. Bonjour, fellow polygon enthusiasts. I am so delighted to be here with you today again to show you how easy it is to calculate the perimeter of a square. Now, we will be going back into the wilderness to see how these beautiful creatures are doing. We will use the square from last time to see how easy it is to calculate. Follow me. So happy to see you again, Mr. Square. Welcome again. Today, we are going to calculate the perimeter of the square. So, what is the perimeter? Well, it is the total outside length. So, the first thing we are going to do is calculate the length of one of the sides. Then, we are going to multiply it by four. Why four? Because as you know, the square has four sides that are the same length. It's amazing. So, 1.3 meters times 4 equals 5.2 meters. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you calculate the perimeter of a square. What an adventure! Thank you, Jacqueline. Merci et au revoir. Join us next time on Let's Equate for more nerdy fun. A bientôt. A bientôt. How does the square say five? Square Z. <laughs> <laughs> no geometric shapes were harmed in the making of this video. The making of this video was supervised by the Association Guild of the Rights, Freedoms, and Fair Treatment of Geometric Shapes and Figures.